Hi guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today I have a bare face because we are going to talk about skincare. So I have a couple different brands, they were all sent to me for a review and shockingly enough I actually really like all of them. There's three and they're all fabulous and all very different. So let's go ahead and start with this little package from Organic to Green. This is a coconut oil based skincare line. So this little set, you can actually buy this set like this and it's like their starter kit sampler, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't think it comes with these though. So I have two of these and these are more of a solid form coconut oil plus they have some shea butter and um, other random good things. These are for skin and lips. So there is the Chap Guard and then the Moisturizer. The Chap Guard is definitely better for lips, I think, um, but you can use it all over your body, anywhere that you have chapped skin. It's one of those, you know, where it's solid, but it kind of melts into your skin. And then this one is a moisturizer. This one I don't like as much on my lips. This one smells really good. It smells like vanilla frosting, but on my lips, it just, it just, didn't seem as hydrating as the other one did and it, I felt like it didn't last as long for some reason like it was just very thin and you know it would feel nice for the first couple of seconds and then it would just be gone but that being said I like this one better for body parts that I don't necessarily want to leave greasy like my elbows or whatever that I would rather just have it like soak in so anyway those are awesome and then this little bag is a bunch of different coconut oils now the fabulous thing about this company is that I love using coconut oil to cook with and my hair blah 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 I'll use it on my body but not on my face because it breaks me out I know a lot of people love to use coconut oil on their face but for me it just clogs my pores so this company has essentially clarified the coconut oil kind of like you do with butter I don't know if you've ever you know like clarified butter and they basically scoop off all of the solid bits and then you're left with a liquid butter and that's what you dip your lobster in and whatnot <laughs> so that's essentially what they have done with this so because it doesn't solidify Solidify, it won't clog your pores, which is great. And you still get all those wonderful benefits from using coconut oil. Plus they have mixed these with other ingredients for other skincare benefits. For instance, this one is vanilla chamomile. This one is sensitive and soothing. This one I have used a lot on my kids. Jensen in particular tends to have really sensitive skin and he'll just you know, randomly get rashes. And so for a while there, he had some sort of mystery rash on his face. And so I was putting this on it and it really did seem to help. This one is Rose. This is for anti-aging, which I've been using quite a lot. Uh, this one is Jasmine Lang Lang. Is that how you say that? Um, this one is moisturizing, which is really nice. This one is lemon, which is antibacterial and oily skin. And I have been using this one. I kind of use the rose and the lemon mostly on my face. And then I really like the Jasmine Lang Lang one um, on my body. Plus this one just smells really good. And then this one is ginger for inflammation and healing. I tried using this like on my sore muscles, it didn't really do much, but it does work well for sunburns, I have noticed. These are supposed to be sort of all purpose things. Like I said, I use this one on my face, this one on my body, this one for sunburns, this one for my son's rash. So you can use them in all sorts of manners. You can use them as makeup removers to shave with, for moisturizing, etc., etc. And I feel like I've been using these a ton and there's still so much in here because you really just need a tiny amount because a little bit goes a long way. And this company has a really neat background. They started out really small and they would just reuse bottles from the neighborhood, you know, beer bottles, wine bottles, whatever, to fill up their products and then, you know, sell these random bottles, which I think is very cool. Um, now, since then, they have switched to using normal bottles, but you can still get refills to put in your own bottle. And they started selling these on Ulta.com, which is so cool. You might be able to find them in some stores. I don't know. You know how Ulta is funny that way? Like in some stores you can find things, but not all of them. But if you go to Ulta.com, these will definitely be there. And it's just organic to green. They have a whole bunch of different, I want to say flavors, scents, whatever, you know, the, the, the different ones. There's ginger and lemon and rose, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, 
That is my organic to green spiel. Really love this stuff. Okay, the next two items that I have are from a company called Cosmetics. And this, I believe they were either started by or have some sort of an affiliation with Pure Cosmetics, which you may or may not have heard of. Anyway, this line is like science plus nature equals fabulousness. So I have two products. I have the Detox Activated Charcoal Mask and the Mystic Hydrating Treatment Spray. So this one, just a regular old charcoal mask, you know, but it's so nice. It really does draw everything out of your pores, but it doesn't dehydrate my skin, which is so nice because I do have dry skin. And, but I'm also super acne prone. So I need like, so this is like the perfect thing for me where it's not harsh, but it does a good job. And I've been using this, like I would say once a week. And it says that you can, that you can use it up to three times a week, kind of depending on your skin and how well you tolerate things. Um, but you know, like I said, it's not super harsh. So I think that you could honestly get away with that. When I first got this spray, I think I was a little confused about how to use it. And then I was talking to a friend of mine who I hadn't seen in forever. She's an esthetician and she was like, oh yeah, cosmetics is what I use. And I was like, what? No way. So tell me how to use this. So basically she said that what she does is she sprays it on and then puts her sunscreen on and basically like mixes the two together. And that's it for her like morning routine. This does have witch hazel in it, which makes it great for acne prone or oily skin. Now, like I said, I have dry skin, but I am acne prone and this is hydrating. So you could use this alone if you are on the oilier side or like my friend said that she does, you can use it with a moisturizer or an SPF to add a little bit more hydration, but just spray this on first like a toner. It has witch hazel in it. And when I spray it, I feel like it smells like witch hazel, but my friend was saying, no, there's really not actually that much witch hazel in it and witch hazel is great for deep cleaning your pores and removing impurities which is awesome it also has heavy water and sodium PCA which helps boost hydration and help prevent moisture loss and then it has aloe vera and cassia glucan natu which naturally soothe and calm the skin so if you have so for skin like mine that is very sensitive and you know <laughs> problem prone, we will call it. This is the perfect kind of a toner. So this does make a perfect light spray of a moisturizer. Plus it does help with, you know, sensitivity, acne, that kind of a thing. It does help sort of cleanse your skin as well as hydrate it. It's just really nice and refreshing. I, I've really been loving using this. I don't usually wash my face in the morning. I find that if I do, it's a little too much for my skin. I like to wash it once a day. So in the morning, because I don't wash my face, I don't necessarily need to rehydrate it with a moisturizer. So I just have been spraying on a bit of this and it's perfect. It adds a little bit of hydration, but I also feel like it's sort of cleaning my skin without actually cleaning my skin. You know what I'm saying? So I have been loving it for that. You can also use it as a makeup setting spray. As a setting spray, it's not really my favorite. I think it's better as a midday pick-me-up sort of a spray, you know, halfway through the day when you're just looking a little tired, your skin is looking a little dried, you're starting to get little creases in your makeup, that kind of a thing. A nice little, a nice little mist of this will really help to sort of, you know, wake everything up and make it look smooth and refreshed. <laughs> so I've really been loving both of these products. I think that they are awesome. I, I would love to try out more from the cosmetics line because I'm really impressed with those two. And then the last company that I am going to talk about today is from Nudu, N-U-D-U. This is Natural Beauty. Now their products are not 100% natural, but they do use natural ingredients in their products and they are cruelty-free and all of that good stuff. Again, they have a nice mix of nature and science so you get really fantastic products. They have a bunch of different stuff and the products that they sent me are for dry sensitive skin and I have a four product system here. Plus they sent along a little cognac sponge. I love me some cognac sponges. This one is, this one's about ready to die. But <laughs> um, so the four that I have, let's just go in order of how you use them. I have this cream cleanser. You guys, I hate cream cleansers. I just do. I've never liked cream cleansers until I met this bad boy. I don't know what it is about it. I feel like it's just the texture is just a little bit, I don't know. It's, it's a, because normally cream cleansers for me anyway, I just feel like I'm putting lotion on my face and it doesn't feel like I'm actually getting my skin clean and it, it doesn't really rinse off all the, I, I just don't like cream cleansers. I never have. I was shocked that I like this one. And honestly, when they first sent it to me, I was like, oh man, I wish they had sent me their gel cleanser. 
but I love this. First of all, it smells like lemon frosting or something. It smells amazing and it's lemony and light. It doesn't smell perfumey, but it definitely does have a scent to it, but it doesn't irritate me at all. And I do not like scents in my skincare. So that should tell you something. I don't know, there's something sort of magical about this. It's like everything I don't like, and yet I love this. So anyway, it is a really nice texture. It's got kind of, you know, it definitely feels creamy, but it's a little bit thicker, I guess, and you can actually kind of lather it up a little bit. Not a lot, but you know, so that you do feel like you are cleaning, not just hydrating your face. And it rinses mostly clean, but then I have this toner, which I absolutely adore. It is not, it doesn't have any alcohol in it. It's not going to sting your skin. I even put this on over my eyes and have had zero issues with it. And everything has that wonderful lemony, sweet, creamy scent to it that I just, I love. And this heals and softens all types of skin and I just love this because it will get off any traces of makeup or dirt or whatever on your face. And honestly, this does a really good job of cleaning your skin. And then of course, go in with your cognac sponge to really get the excess off and, and get a nice exfoliation. And you guys, cognac sponges, if you've never used them before, are so gentle and wonderful. I am telling you, I love these things. So anyway, you go in with your toner, you know, just put some on a cotton pad and kind of wipe it over your face and it's that little extra step. It's not necessarily like, I don't feel like you need it for the pH balancing so much as you do just, you know, as a nice, it's almost like, you know, a serum or something. It's, it's a, I don't know. I just really like it. I think it does a really good job. It leaves my face feeling clean and hydrated and you know, just like it has a little something extra on it. Okay, and then the eye cream, this is one of their newer products. This is so nice and creamy and luxurious feeling. I really love this, you know, cause your eye area is so sensitive and mine are so dry and I, I just love this eye cream. I can use it day and night. I can wear it under makeup and it's not too heavy. I can put it on at night and it's not so lightweight that my eyes, you know, still feel dry when I wake up. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anyway, love the eye cream. And then this is the gentle moisturizer. They have a couple different moisturizers. This one, again, that wonderful creamy lemony scent and it just feels rich and luxurious and I love it. I absolutely love every single one of these products. And I'm out of most of these. I think I still have a little bit of eye cream left. That's it. I really want to repurchase these and I'm kind of on the fence about it. So I went back to using the skincare that I was using before, which I really like, but I still, I'm like, I kind of, I kind of miss this stuff. I don't know. There was just something very rich and luxurious and my skin looked so nice while I was using these products. I mean, just like this glowing, hydrated, youthfulness to my skin. I know that sounds like crazy talk, but I'm telling you, I loved every single one of these products. After the toner, before I would put on the moisturizer, I would do my serum with a, with a squirt of the, of the coconut oil for like an added hydration and, you know, a little extra something, something, you know, and then in the morning I will use this spray and then once a week this. So I've been using all of these products in congruence, in whatever, you know, together at the same time throughout my skincare and I love every single one of them. I really feel like my skin is in a really good place right now. It just, it feels and looks nice. Not great, you guys. I just don't have great skin. I have a lot of, I have a lot of melasma and I do still break out. And I've been going through this SPF thing, trying to find a good SPF that doesn't break me out. So I do have some, so I do have some current spots going on, but I feel like they're getting better. I've been using this one from La Roche Posay. I think I talked about this in maybe my birthday haul. Was that it? Um, and this is the An Anthelios Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid SPF 60. Uh, I like this. I do like this. It's very liquidy and I wish that it was a mineral sunscreen as opposed to a chemical sunscreen, but I don't know. I'm still on the hunt for my perfect SPF. Anyway, I really love all of these products. I would highly recommend them. Um, I do have a, I do have a code for cosmetics, which I think it's if you spend $50 you get a free vitamin C crystals thing, which is like this powder that you just add to your moisturizer or serum or whatever. And it's like adding vitamin C. It looks so cool. I haven't tried it, so I can't really review it for you guys, but you get a free one if, if you spend $50 using my code, which is just Rebecca. And of course, I will leave all of that info in the description box. So make sure that you check that out. And then I will leave links for the Nudu stuff and the organic to green, which again, you can find at Ulta.com. 
some really amazing stuff. So thank you to all three of these companies for sending me these amazing products. I have been loving them. All right, well, again, don't forget to check out the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully with some makeup on. And I will actually have blue hair again. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.